Okay, guys, I'm back on Redneck Doings. I filmed some on Saturday, like a four-minute video. I didn't post it because it was going with this one. Well, all my progress was lost somehow. So that part of it is lost, but I didn't do much. I had to do some stuff, set a lot of stuff Saturday. Didn't feel like video on Sunday because we were very, very busy. And today is Monday bright and early got me some new tools gifted to me by a friend and <clears throat> all we did saturday we only worked on it for a little while because i didn't have enough time stapled wire cut wire right there did the same over here trimmed off that wire right there we'll probably board up that back side right there right there right there and right there maybe put wire or board right there have our door right there and we need a sawzall to cut that. Who feels like running 300 foot of cord? Electric cord. Whatever you call it. <coughs> Extension cord. And I don't. I got me a cordless sawzall. So without further ado, I'll show you the tools. And before I get started... Last video, I opened some fan mail get sent in. It was a nicely t tanned raccoon tail. I'll show that at the end of the video. Thank you for sending... Whoa! Slipped. Thank you for sending that in because I really like it. I use it to put all my pins on on my desk. And I like it because it looks cool. Now, let's show you the tools. Okie dokie. Saw's all gifted to me. Battery gifted to me. Battery gifted to me. Drill gifted to me. Saws all blade gifted to me. Had that. Had that and that. Had that. So now, if you do not have adult su supervision or safety glasses, do not use a sawzall or any kind of saw unless they say you can use it. My parents said I could. So, without further ado, I need to stop saying that too. Because it's probably annoying. Now, let's get to work and start sawzawing some boards. Got the saws already. Now I'm going to go get my eye protection and get to sawing. Hope you guys are glad I'm doing the sawzawing and not you. So your arms ain't shook to jello. Batteries are almost dead because sawzawing takes a lot of electricity. So we'll just use my other Dewalk drill. <clears throat> and work on doing some other stuff while these batteries charge. Okay, <clears throat> it's about 12 o'clock. Had to take a little break and got my school done. And back out here, Sozo battery died, recharged it, and have all the tops sawed. Now for the back, which is here. We're going to cut some boards. And then I can use those to block up the back. And... Then we'll figure out what to do next. We'll probably put the 2 by 4s on the top right there. And then we'll put those boards there. We'll probably put 10 on that way. Rain don't get in there or whatever. Okie dokie. Had to take the jacket off. I just got an old shirt. A very old shirt that I'm wearing just in case I rip it and probably am going to. But got our 2 by 4s down. We had to use 3. And that is all I had left of a 16 foot tube. It's always surprised me at how much wood it takes to do stuff, but you gotta have a lot. I had to cut them all 53 inches. 53 inches and had a smidge of overhang, not much. And now we're gonna do the back and the sides and all that. And then in a little while, I'll get to doing the roof. Okie dokie. I got the one piece of tin on old burnt tin but it'll work and i got the back on got a little crack i gotta do if you want to see me do the last half of this hit subscribe because there'll be a part two next saturday we'll see you guys next time on redneck doings don't forget to like subscribe comment and share if you want part two hit subscribe and come back next saturday where it finishes build up and put quails in it